uh, you can be very intelligent and very good at what you do, and you can still be stupid. different setup for everyone we've got uh, we've got the vacuum pump we've got um, the glass jar our vacuum chamber and we've got some water but this time we've got a smaller amount of water we've got 20 milliliters of water in this jar as you can see now I've marked the position of where the water the water surface is um, at the moment and our intention basically is to extract the heat okay from the water okay so that we can um, lower the temperature and get a freeze okay get um, you know the top of the water surface to freeze over that is the main um, uh, goal that we'd like to achieve we've got the timer so we can time how long it's going to take We've only used 20 milliliters of water because we don't want to be hanging around this time in, well, in two hours time still waiting for this to happen. Now, a lot of people on YouTube, we're aware, we've mentioned this before, a lot of people on YouTube have put up videos about boiling water and all this lot. And yet we find that the, 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 the demonstrations these guys are doing are incorrect. They are labeled totally wrong. Um, in essence, they ought to be t uh, entitled extracting heat from water using a vacuum pump or a vacuum or in a vacuum. And this is exactly what we what we do. We've, we are going to have a look, look at the setup. So, yeah, if we look, there's the pump. Uh, there's pipe work going down to the uh, going down to the jar. Going down to the jar, there's the pipe, we're going down to the jar. Now, a little bit of water in the bottom there, and we've got a bit of tape. Now, it's not an experiment, we're not here to um, carry out any experimentation because we're not, uh, we don't really feel that, that there's a need to. It's just an observation. That's all we're setting out to do because what we're going to do is we're going to extract the heat from the water using a vacuum. Okay, that's essentially what we're going to do. So, we may as well get ourselves ready. Yeah, if you just so everyone knows, there's me bit of masking tape, and I've put a pencil mark there, uh, which should be in line with the water's surface, the meniscus of the water. So, with that in mind, let's get going, and let's see how long this takes. So, who wants to, do you want to switch it on? Shall I switch it on? Yep, we, we set up. Yep, shall I go and switch her on? Yep. I'll just get, make sure you're in the right position. There we go. That should do it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, go well, on. Yep, okay. There we go. Now, look at that. We've got bobbling straight away. Straight away we've got bubbling, as you can see, okay. And we've all come to the conclusion that it's the air being withdrawn, extracted um, from the water by the lower pressure above the water's surface, essentially, you know, the vacuum pumps just um, sucking the air out as well as the air, the air out of the jar as well as the air that's in the water, okay. There we go. So the bubbling slowed down an awful lot. I'm certainly not going to use the word boiling because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking there's no way that this, this water's boiling at all. So the, the bubbling has certainly slowed down. So it's now sporadic. But it's, it's just so interesting to look at this stuff. Absolutely interesting. It's really good, but it's, you can see it's not bubbling, is it? No, 
that, uh, boiling. Boiling. It's, it's, boiling. it's definitely not boiling. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. All these people thinking it's bubbling. You know, uh, boiling. Well, there's no vapor. There's, well, there's no the, the thing is, yeah, absolutely. There's no proof or evidence that there's vapor present. You know, I mean, somebody was saying to me earlier about um, well, it's it's uh, um, boiling. Um, convert a liquid to a gaseous state in the form of vapor and I'm thinking but you can't vapor is a vapor state it's not a gas vapor is not a gas so what, how well will voice will come out oh no I'm sure it'll be fine but um, we'll have to wait and see but we we so far we're doing we're doing nearly two minutes now we've got to remember that a, a, a kettle roughly takes what maybe about three minutes three minutes to boil yeah three four minutes to boil from cold so we're gonna basically we've already done two minutes we can see some vapor on the out there's condensation appearing on the outside because this water is getting cold okay it's getting cold yeah it is getting cold there's condensation but it is a warm very warm day today so it's all good stuff. There we go. This is brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. You know, I've seen so many videos on YouTube about the alleged boiling water in a vacuum, and you see the water bubbling away, and yet this water's doing totally the opposite. Mm. As you know, it's just not doing the amount of bubbling that we see in other videos. You know. Turn it off. We must turn it off. And just move the bottle. The bottle. There we go. Oh, look. Usually would have gotten some condensation there, eh? some vaporisation. Let's just move it, just so people can tell. There you go. It's still in liquid form. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, well, that's good. Oh, now you're getting you're getting some. Uh, Getting some condensation, some vapor forming, but that could be the air, the outside air coming into the chamber because it's so cold. Because it's so cold. That's all yeah, that's is. basically what it is. Yeah, you know, I mean, <clears throat> so we've we've been. <sighs> well, there you go. hour and fifty-seven minutes. Okay, I'm so pleased I haven't watched this for an hour, whole hour and fifty-seven minutes. So I've gotten oh, totally right. bored, but we can see that it did what we said it was going to do and that is we were going to ext um, extract the heat from water using a vacuum pump and that's exactly what we did so we can see that the water's gotten colder that water's gotten much colder the condensation on the bottom of the jar we can see it there um, initially we got bubbling straight away okay it wasn't boiling we saw it bubble um, but then it went just went poof went poof went, no, went nowhere went still static static went still so maybe maybe you know if we'd have had a, um, a, a more uh, f um, powerful more powerful pump I mean obviously we could have gotten it to freeze in a lot quicker time but one th one of the things that we do know after doing this and that is um, water certainly doesn't boil that's for sure in a vacuum that that is a fact the only thing that we can say that happens in this after this demonstration is that we you can extract the heat from a substance using a vacuum um, yeah you know and that's exactly what we see the condensation it's quite like we, we we've seen no evidence i've seen no evidence or proof of vaporization of the water um although i would say that the water level has gone down slightly but that's it just slightly nothing significant the condensation here i would agree with 
Peter and the, the condensation here is only there because of the air rushing into the chamber that's cold okay and it's basically um, condensated on the inside that's why we think that you've got condensation here but there's no vaporization taking place well, yeah, look. in this bottle at all in this jar we can just determine one thing just if we switch it on quickly that will clear up the condensation then we can just when we turn it off we can just seal the the valve well i don't well first well i don't think i mean we've been doing this for you know quite oh, some wow. time i don't think we need to be doing it but um you know the whole the whole science science surrounding this process is um is absolute bullshit there's there's uh, we're given the impression from videos that it only takes a couple of minutes and it's it's um you've got this boiling you've got this and it, you get this freeze you know but it takes a long long time it takes an awful long time 20 milliliters of water in the bottom there 20 milliliters two of those that's two of these where we see the where there where's my pen mark there's there's my pen mark yeah yeah, can you see that? Mm. Two of those in there. That's all, it's just two. And we wonder whether, if we just used one, whether we would have gotten it to freeze. I don't think we would have done. Because that's what a lot of people do to get them the water I, to freeze. Absolutely. I th and they put less, less in. They put less, they, it's to, in order to get the results people want, they skew, their demonstrations variables. they skew the variables they play around with the variables so they achieve what they want to achieve but the the golden rule that's underlying this whole process water boiling and it freezing is all dependent on variables and water uh, just certainly just doesn't boil you know it's there's an awful lot of skewing misrepresentation in a lot of people's videos on YouTube concerning this and I hope that through this we've actually cleared up a lot of loose ends and uh, we've given people a, a much uh, more enlightened um, evaluation evaluation on this process because all we see here is the extraction of heat from the inside of this container that's all we see that's all we're seeing the air leaving the the bubbling at the beginning we saw is, is the air coming out that could also have something to do with the temperature the the heat is contained in the bubbles it's possible that's why the bubbles come out and is left um, we're in a warm room the jar will absorb a lot of the heat the heat will radiate through the glass into the water as soon as it goes into the water it gets sucked out through the vacuum yeah there's th this is why it cools down because the vacuum chamber like i've said earlier is essentially extracting the heat and that's also why it freezes okay that's why the temperature goes down because you're extracting the heat you're not you're not boiling water you're not doing anything like this anything of the sort all you're doing is extracting the heat. It's very similar to how a refrigerator works. Very similar to how how a refrigerator works, or a refrigerant in a glycol, whatever they call mm. it, whatever. But um, this is exactly what what's happening. Yeah, you know, it's this is really a basic refrigerator. You could use a vacuum as a refrigerator system. Mm. So you know, case closed. You know. Um, this is what a lot of people should have put focused on when making these videos they should have just focused on the fact that you're extracting the heat from water using a vacuum right. in other words instead of walking into a nice plush plush restaurant for your three course four course meal always yeah. remember that out the back is where all the shit goes that it's good to see sometimes because it gives you a better Absolutely, of course. Better so. understanding of where you're <coughs> eating. So, there we go. Now, I hope everyone's that's understood. That's fine by me. Yeah? Extracting heat um, use from water using a vacuum. Ta-da! See you next time.
the earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat, everywhere it's flat. 